everyone so in this clip I'm gonna talk about mixing paint so as you can see here I have um, already pre-mixed some paint for from an earlier demo that I just did but I just want to talk to you guys about how to mix paint how to get these nine values that are here um, which take time and you have to know you have to have at least a procedure of how to do it that way you can get each individual value to have its own identity and that's very very important um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started so of course you're gonna need a palette so I have a glass palette I also have a little gray sheet under it because um, I normally just want to mix my uh, mix my values on a, a value 5 because if you mix on a value 5 it's easier to gauge your mixes um, if you have something that's white everything is going to look very very dark and not white uh, so that's why you want to start with a value 5 uh, palette whether it's paper um, paper palette or whether it's um, glass you just want it to be that gray alright so how did I get my number five value, which is here? I'm sorry that it's a mess, but <laughs> you get the idea. It is a mess. But um, another thing that I didn't talk about is my um, my paper towel. I have a wet paper towel because we're working in acrylics, so I want to keep my um, paint as wet as possible. Um, so I wet a paper towel and I put it on my palette and then I squeeze my paint on top of that. Um, so that gives you an idea like why is there a paper towel there Jerry? That's the reason why. So I want to start with how do I get a value 5 that's here. So how you want to do it is you want to take half of your uh, white, take another half, of this block kind of a 50 50 thing 50 50 thing so you can see how I am uh, mixing the paint I'm using the end of my metal uh, palette knife I want to get all that palette mixed together palette all that paint mixed together get it together jury get your vocab together so once it's mixed together, we have our value 5. Now I could just scoop that paint together. Scoop, scoop, scoop. I'm going to put it where my value 5 is. Yay. Okay, now that we have that, I want to... Oop, oop, I'm going to take my whole palette with me. But I just want to wipe off my palette. Spray it little spritz I have it completely cleaned off taking another uh, getting another clean paper towel <clears throat> alright so now we have a value 5 so we need to get a value 3 which is this so what I do is you want to take a little bit of that white again you want to take your value, your value five. That's here. Take about the same amount to that white. Mix, mix, mix. That gets you your three. Yay, three. So that is our value five. Sorry, value three. Gotta get my values together. <laughs> that is my value three. I'm gonna clean off my palette again. So now that I have my value 3, so we mixed our 5, our 3, then you have to mix your white and your 3 together to get your 2. So you want to take a little bit of white. You want to take that 3. About half and half.
That gets me my two. Now we have our two that's there. Clean up my palette. So now you have, we did our five, we did our three, we did our two, and now we have to mix our, um, our three and our five to get our four. So we mixed our white and our black. We got our five. We mixed our five and our uh, white. That gave us our three. Then we mixed our white and our three gave us two. Three and five gave us four. Same thing when it comes to uh, these values. So you want to get seven. So you want to think of those odd numbers first. So we're going to take our 5, which is here, we're going to mix our 5, with our black. So... Once we have that, that is our seven. Let's place there. Clean off my palette. So we got a seven. So remember you guys we mixed our our five with our black we got our seven now we gotta mix our five with our seven to get our six take a little bit take a little bit at seven and we just mixed so about half and half This gives us our six. We have our six now. Yay. All right. There are our six. My bottle does not want to spritz out water at all. <laughs> so, remember we have our five. We mixed it with our black. Um, our five and our black got us our seven. Then we have to mix the five and the seven to get our six. And, of course, you should know what's going to happen next. We got to mix our seven with our black. Seven with the black. Seven with the black. Mix our seven with our blacks. Our seven with our nine. <laughs> this is going to give us our eight. So now we have our eight. And we place it there. So that is how you get a nine value skill mixed up. And we are using acrylic paint
So you guys, um, I try my best to clean my palette as I go. Um, once I get into painting sometimes it gets a little messy, but I still try and keep it as clean as possible um, while I'm working. So once again, we have our, our wet paper towel that's here. I like to go in and like just spritz, if it could spritz, <laughs> spritz the paint just a bit just to keep it wet. Um, so, once you have your paint mixed up, then, I'm going to move this to the side. Then you want to come in. We have our value scale here. We have a gradation scale that's there. It's good to practice this before you go into any type of painting. At least you know how your paints work, what they look like, you know how to blend them, all of those things you want to make sure you have um, in place. <clears throat> so, of course, I'm missing water. <laughs> so I'm going to get water. I'm going to break a clip. So now that I have my water, what I want to do is pull out um, a paper towel just so I have it. I'm also going to come in with uh, my paintbrush. i come in with a little small one as well. Alright, so... We want to think about our value scale. So we want to think about white. Also, we want to think about uh, black. I um, My brushes are kind of dry, so I'm just dipping them in water just to get them ready. So you want to come in and you want to get this painted in. So you may, our titanium white, which... I'm not going to do, but my students are going to do. Our titanium white is um, a bit transparent. Doesn't cover that much of the gray. So, just trying to come in and make this as neat as I can. Stay within the line. And then my value too. that in getting in my value three
got that in. Now I'm just getting in uh, my value four. So you guys, acrylic dries uh, darker than what it looks like when you mix it. So you want to keep that in mind. It's going to dry a lot darker than uh, what it was originally mixed. So I have my Four in now, I gotta get my five in. Now I gotta get it in my six. Six in. All right, and my seven. my seven in eight my eight And I gotta get my nine in.
So the one thing I do notice as I'm looking, 1 through 5 feels good, but I feel like 5 and 6 are very, very close together um, in their identities. They're not separated. So I'm going to go ahead and change it. Yeah. <laughs> So if you see that, if you're looking and you're like, ah, it's not much of a difference, change it. Now I feel like it kind of got its own identity going. Alright you guys, so this is our stepped value scale. I'm also going to go in and lean my brush off really good. this to not look so streaky it looks very streaky <laughs> I allowed it to dry then I'm just coming over with another layer And if I want to, I can let it dry it again, and then I can come over another layer so it can look more opaque. Alright, so... Next, we want to do this gradation scale. So you guys, I tend to use rounds and I like to use rounds for blending. And you probably hear that over and over and over again, but I do. And I'm also going to switch over to some uh, gloss medium. So the gloss medium is just going to thin the paint out just a little bit. That's kind of what I need for right now. Same thing that water does, it basically does the same thing. <laughs> so normally I'll go with my black, but I'm going to come in on my white side. So I'm going to start with that white. Do my best to stay within everything. Make my paint off, my brush, put my medium in there. I'm just blending these two together and letting it just gradate.
to my three. wipe this paint off my brush now I need to go to the four together just go ahead and blend them together Wipe some of this paint off again. <laughs> All right, so A little too light on that. <laughs> Wipe my brush off again, get into my value eight. So I'm wiping my brush off to get excess paint off so I can blend. I'm going to go into my black. Get my black in. I have a little too much black on my, <laughs> on my brush.
taking off my brush again. So I'm going to add in a little more paint here. Pushing and pulling on these edges. It's giving me some problems. And the paint is drying. <laughs> Alright guys, so we mixed our paint, we figured out how to get our uh, our values uh, on our palette. Once you have your paint mixed, uh, then you want to get a, val a, um, a value skill down, also a gradation skill, practice it. Um, that way when you start to paint the sphere, you know how to do a step. Um, value scale as well as you know how to do a gradation value scale mainly when when um, any artist paint they're using this um, versus that but you might want to do I don't know abstract project um, that deals with the step value um, so there's, there's different ways to apply it but uh, this is how you get a nine step value scale the step or the gradation scale so I hope this helped I definitely need to clean off my brushes because I got a lot going on. But I will see you guys in the next clip.